it's like a little stress ball. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, there are ingredients here, which can only mean that we are cooking, which hopefully I won't blow up the house, but we'll do this. So I am going to be following Jamie Oliver's recipe, not to a tea because I haven't got the same flour as him, but from what I've got at home, we are going to be making homemade pasta. And the reason for this is because with all the coronavirus and all that, my auntie was saying the other day how she really fancied some pasta and she was running out of pasta so she's got to like ration it out a bit and obviously everyone's going a bit mental and taking all the pasta from the shops so I thought I would make some pasta. My uncle even suggested a name for me. We are going to be Ella Catelli. So we're having Ella Catelli pasta today and yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is wash our hands. And now we're going to get started with the pasta. So what you need, 600 grams of flour and six eggs. So I'll get that ready now with my little <coughs> weighing scale. So then once you've got your 600 grams of flour, what you want to do is make a bit of a well in the middle and crack your eggs. I have a really weird way of doing this. I don't trust myself doing it over the bowl just in case some shell goes in. So I'm just going to do it. Did not mean to do that at all. There we have my eggs in the little well. Obviously there was a little bit of spillage but we can do all that. It's okay if we bring it over. And you want to whisk the eggs in the middle. So then your eggs should look a bit more like that. And then what you're going to do is just get your fingers in and start mixing it in bit by bit. Until soon it should start forming a bit of a dough. This is like a really gross part. But we can do it. Lovely stuff. Loving my fingers right now. So as you can see now it's turned into a bit of a doughy well, a dough, it's turned into a dough. So now you're just going to knead it out. So then, once your dough is very nice and doughy and smooth, you're just going to grab some clinical, my worst enemy. And just pop it on in the centre if you can. Wrap it up all nice and tough and chuck it in the microwave, not the microwave, and chuck it in the fridge for half an hour and tidy up. So now we're back 45 minutes later because it said at least half an hour, so I gave it a bit extra. And we're gonna use a little pasta maker and roll out our dough. So there we go, there's my pasta nice and thin i can see my hands through it which is a good sign and i already decided that i want to make like not a penny but the sweetie one i don't know what that's called but the sweetie pasta so i've got a little round cutter thing cut the pasta into little pieces then use my chopstick to just go around like that. So here we have our little, it was meant to be fusilli, I remember the term now, fusilli, it was meant to be fusilli, but the little spirals more than fusilli, so it's like a mixture of penne and fusilli. So that can be alicatelli. Next, we're gonna do like penne. So I finished my penne type pasta and it kind of looks more like spring rolls, like Chinese spring rolls. So the last one I'm gonna do now is, like my mum said, I'm gonna just get little pasta like shapes, like the little squiggly ones, the little hinge in the middle. So what you do is just Cut your pasta up and then just 
pinch it in the middle. And there we have it. So I'll do that now and show you the end results. So after all that, we finally finished. I've got like a plate full of pasta. Got my little pasta shapes for there. Squiggles, more squiggles, and spring rolls. And that is, that's not even half the pasta mix used. So yeah, I hope you all like this video. I'm gonna be drowned with pasta for the next few weeks. And I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching, bye!